Hello, this is Joe McGee. Welcome to our podcast. Make sure that you subscribe and please share the podcast with your friends. That is the number one way you can help us reach people with God's love and healing. We love you guys. Hope you enjoy the podcast. Hello, it's Joe McGee. Welcome to Wednesday's Words of Wisdom, where we take a word and we just sort of get a few scriptures to go to it. And uh, I did this when I was teaching my kids years ago. We had all those six kids. Uh, and uh, we'd usually I'd have them a three by five card every week, have a verse for the week. So no, you know, it's not how much scripture, it's just believe something. You know, it's just believe something. So today we're talking about money. Because I don't care who you are, you're going to need money. You're going to need a ton of it. Well, you, if you're going to get money, you need to know something about math. Uh, because math and money go together. You know, you just can't hide your heads in the sand and say, well, uh, you know, it'll work out. No, it won't. You got to you need to know something about math and money because God's big. Uh, you think about the story of Noah in Genesis 6. Uh, God told Noah, make yourself a boat out of cypress wood. This is how you need to make it. Make it 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, 45 feet high. God was very specific how big that boat needed to be because he knew uh, what the contents is going to be in it, how long they're going to be on there. And so uh, some there was a TV special made years ago where somebody built a scale model replica of the ark uh, trying to estimate its weight, and they put it in a wave pool, and they tried to sink it. And their conclusion was, the ark was virtually unsinkable because of its dimensions. God knows a lot about math. So math and money. So let's give a few scriptures to think about. Uh, Luke 16, verse 9. The essence of the Luke 16, 9, Jesus says, make money a friend. And what, do you, what does that mean, make money a friend? Well, if you have a friend, you know your friend. It's not an acquaintance. It's not somebody you casually know. A friend is somebody who would die for you. It's somebody you'll die for. It's a very intimate relationship. He says, make money a friend. Know everything there is to know about them, good and bad. Make money a friend. Matthew 25, 14. Matthew 25, verse 14. God is a God of stewardship. God said, I'll give more to those who take care of what they've got. The pair of the talents, five, two, and one. The better you take care of it, the more you'll get. The more you honor God's gift, the more he'll give you. You don't honor it, he'll take away what you have. Second Kings 4, 1. Second Kings 4, 1. Great story. You can love God and still be broke. You can love God and still be broke. God and money are kind of two different things. You got to know how both of them work. Uh, Luke 12, verse 7. Luke 12, verse 7. The hairs of our head are numbered. The days of our life are numbered. You're to control your thought life. Think on these things, whatever is lovely, honest, just. Praise with the good report. Think on these things. Don't think on those other things. You got to control your thought life. Proverbs 27, 23. Proverbs 27, 23. A great thing on stewardship. Bible talks about there's a guy that knew the condition of his flocks. We need to know the condition of our flocks. What does that mean? Well, to know the condition of your business, your job, your, your, your plant, your company, whatever business you're running. You need to know the detail about it. God says, if I go down here, and I own some sheep. I need to know what the going price of sheep is, what the going price of wool is, or somebody's going to clean my plow. God says, get some natural wisdom and know the condition of your flocks. Proverbs 11, verse 1. Proverbs 11, verse 1. The Lord hates dishonest scales, but accurate scales are his delight. If you're in business, don't lie in business. Don't cheat in business. Do what's right. Say what's right. Advertise what's right. Don't lie about it. Because Acts chapter 5, verse 1, it's the story of Ananias Sapphira who lied and died because of money. Man, you don't lie about your money. You need to tell the truth because I'm telling you, it will bless you. Then Luke 9, verse 14, Luke 9, verse 14, order precedes increase. I've told my kids their whole life, you get a budget. According to the U.S. Census, 95% of all Americans have no working budget. They don't know how much they make, how much they earn, or where it's going. That's because America is broke. As a nation, we're broke, broke. We're trillions of dollars in debt. We are still printing more money. The, the dollar is pretty much worthless because we're not stewarding what we have. We're just printing more money. God is a God of stewardship. What you take care of, he'll give you more of. So you want to take care of what you got. So let's learn to be good stewards. We'll just start where you're at. You can't do it in one day. You can't do it in one week, but start the process of get you a piece of paper and find out, well, how much do I make? How much do I earn? 
How much do I owe? Where's it going? Get a budget. That's called stewardship. Get a budget. And you'll change sort of you change a lot of stuff the way you live. I didn't know we were spending that on that. Everybody that's ever I've ever helped get a budget was shocked. I didn't know we were wasting money on that. I didn't know we were buying that. I didn't know we were spending money because if you don't know, you can't control it. So get a budget. The greatest financial miracle you will ever do on this planet is get a budget. Know where your money's going. Be a steward over it. And God honors stewardship. God bless, guys. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to hear more of what God can do in your life. It's got a great future for you and your family. We're here to help you get there. Please make sure you visit Joe McGee Ministries on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. There you find all of our Friday funny videos and other encouraging resources for you and your family. While you're at it, be sure to visit JoeMcGee.com. We have all sorts of materials, books, DVDs, you name it, all there to help you, your marriage, and your family succeed.